police officer and got shot. Now, two RCMP officers involved in the incident are facing criminal charges. They could also face internal discipline. Catherine Urquhart with that story. This was the scene back in February after Mounties in Kelowna tried to arrest a man wanted on a Canada-wide warrant. It was a chaotic night that included shots fired. Now, many months later, a second police officer involved that evening is facing criminal charges. The RCMP's E-Division Professional Standards Unit has conducted an investigation into this incident and as a result a report to Crown Council was forwarded to Crown Council and they made the ultimate decision to charge Constable Steve Conlon who is a member of the Kelowna RCMP with one count of assault causing bodily harm. It all started when the suspect resisted arrest and pepper sprayed Conlon's fellow officer. That constable then allegedly opened fire hitting the suspect and wounding him although not critically. I was sitting on the couch watching the news and I heard what sounded like a couple of firecrackers. Yeah. And those, uh, I got up to the window. That's when I saw the one gentleman running across the snow there in the lawn and yeah. someone else chasing him. And then I saw the three shots fired. The officer was charged with careless use of a firearm. Now the charges against Constable Conlon, who attended a second location that night. He was in pursuit of a woman involved in the previous incident. It's alleged an altercation ensued. This was a highly emotionally charged situation. There had just been shots fired. A police officer had been pepper sprayed. There was a woman holding onto a pit bull. There was a confrontation between her and Constable Conlon. Constable Conlon was bitten by the pit bull, and it is also alleged that he struck this woman in the face during the confrontation. She did suffer some bruising to her face, but now, as a final end result, Constable Conlon has been charged with assault causing bodily harm. The woman, who was pregnant at the time, suffered facial bruising, but no serious injuries. Officer Conlon is due in court October 16th. He's also facing an internal review.